Hey, what's up guys? Paul James here, and it's been a while since I've done any sort of training for you guys, so I wanted to um, want to provide some value to you and show you a tool that I'm using. This isn't a paid tool, so there's no pitch here. This is just straight content for you because I want to get back, and uh, thank you guys for being awesome subscribers. So let's uh, jump into it. This is a tool that I came across not that long ago. You may have heard of it. It's called Canva, um, but maybe you overlooked it. But it's really powerful, and if you don't use Photoshop, or even if you do use Photoshop, I'm like, I'm like a master of Photoshop, and I just love this tool. It's just amazing. You can use it for really anything you want. Um, they have some predetermined template sizes in here. Uh, if you want to do like a Facebook post or a, a cover or timeline or Google Plus photo. If you want to do a business card, flyers, menus, uh, presentations, it's just, just all kinds of stuff. I use this for an ebook cover. Um, I put some mind map type things together or workflow type things together when I was doing my Amazon launch. So you may remember seeing different graphic elements and ebook covers in there and I designed that kind of stuff with this but let's say we're gonna put together a Facebook ad let's just use this ad template so you you just start with kinda of like this blank thing and what it what it is is they have like free stock images in here that you can use and free elements and then they also have some different uh, paid elements if you if you wanna go that route um, so like if you come look at the background tab there's a ton of backgrounds in here that you can use and you can see these ones that are marked free are absolutely 100% free to use. And then these ones that you come down, these ones are like paid. But they're only a dollar. And you don't have to pay for them right away. You only pay for them if you use them, which is kind of cool. So, I don't know, let's go and search through here and let's put something together. Let's say we were going to put together a, uh, I don't know, maybe, um, maybe an ad for local marketing or something. So we can choose you know maybe a photo that we want to be a background of our ad oh, that doesn't make sense much for local marketing I'm just kinda of looking and and playing around with it and seeing what I can come up with looks kinda of cool maybe not for local marketing though this this maybe could work a guy at an airport um, I don't know I'm just I'm just kinda of looking through and seeing what I can come up with so this is kinda of just off the cuff here but you see as I put this together it's pretty cool actually I like I like this quite a bit and I also like this one Let's see which one's better We'll go with this one since this one's uh, landscape. All right, cool. Now I'm going to go and search again, and this time we're going to look for illustrations. Let's see if we can find something that fits local marketing. All right, this could work. Um, little map marker, right? That makes sense. All right, so we'll put that right there. And now let's do some text. So this is cool. I mean, look at all these text options. This is what I really love about it. Um, if you're doing t-shirts or anything with t-shirts, you know, this could be good for that too. Um, just, there's just so many things that you can use this for. All right. I don't know if I want to use this one. I, I like the way it looks, but I'm not sure, uh, it's going to work for this. Maybe this corner tab might work. Okay. Maybe I'll put something here like free SEO report maybe I'm gonna give away free report or something like that 24 okay free SEO report um, that looks cool but not gonna work for this um, let's see what else is there I mean there's just tons of stuff um, here's some of these little designs I was telling you about like if you want to make infographics you can you can change this to uh, say whatever percent you want and and fix that um, I use those for some flowcharts on my Amazon launch, which is pretty cool. Let's try this. We can change the color of it if we want. So get more leads into your local business. Contact me today. All right, cool. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's Canva. I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial. I'd like to start doing more of these. Um, maybe I could put together a tutorial or something on how I build out landing pages like the one you're looking at right now. I put this page together in like 30 seconds and um, it was very easy. Do you guys want me to show you how to do something like that? If so, just um, leave a comment and let me know and uh, or email me or something and I can definitely put something like that together for you. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial on how to get great looking designs without using Photoshop. Alright, so that's Canva, canva.com. Go check it out.